Uh, joining me now, Republican campaign strategist Tony Sayeg, uh, attorney Ebony Williams, Washington Times columnist Tammy Bruce, all three Fox News contributors. And I mean, that is a great picture, Tony. I, 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 he's sitting next to her. It's, it's the spirit of the thing. The happy warrior, Al Smith, would be thrilled. And he's sitting between her and Donald Trump. He's keeping the peace, Lou, as, as the good cardinal should. Look, this is no doubt, though, an awkward moment for Hillary Clinton, who in those emails, her campaign was revealed to hold really derogatory, bigoted beliefs toward Catholics. And I stated on your show a week ago that she should have been disinvited to this dinner if she were not to take account for what the people under her, very high level, Podesta, Jim Palmier, her director of communications, said. And the two fact, top people. In, two in of the her campaign. top people. These are not small, you know, kind of mechanics of politics. These are her top senior level advisors, the campaign chairman, the communications director. And the fact that she still till now has not said a word to apologize to the church, to the cardinal, to the millions of Catholics in this country shows just, I think, a, a, a level of arrogance and insensitivity. But look, tonight's not about necessarily playing that political game. I applaud the cardinal for keeping the decorum the way it is. It's actually a terrific dinner. There's a lot of comedy. There's a lot of lightheartedness. Um, it might not be, I guess, the night tonight, but I'll tell you what, Lou, this issue is not going away. You talk to Catholics, they're very motivated about this. This was actually, I think, a good opportunity for her, even if she wanted to. We were to. just looking at uh, Senator Chuck Schumer of New York, uh, likely to be the majority leader should the uh, Democrats uh, uh, wrest the Senate from the Republicans. We're told that's not going to happen reliably by the Republicans. Uh, the gentleman that you see there uh, at the, at the, uh, at the uh, podium uh, is Al Smith the fourth. And if you want to do some quick counting, that means he's the great grandson of the original, the four-term governor of New York, presidential candidate, first Catholic to be nominated by a major party for the office of president. He's uh, a great grandson. And he is, uh, uh, and there's a very recognizable face. <laughs> Talk about a happy warrior. R Rudy Giuliani <laughs> epitomizes it. Uh, I, happy and a warrior, that's for sure. Uh, Ebony Williams is here as, uh, as we're waiting for uh, Al Smith the fourth yes. to introduce Donald Trump. He will go first tonight. Uh, Ebony, your thoughts on uh, on the dynamics at uh, at work here? Yes, I was going to say, you know, to Tony's point, you know, she's been demanded to apologize. Certainly, I think it would be politically uh, in her interest to do so. But here's another way for her to play it. This is an opportunity for her to, to humanize herself and say, you know what? Um, I, I don't know what to make of all of this, but but for anyone that has any concerns or questions about my beliefs toward this important group of Americans, this is my position. How great would that be for her? Uh, you're, you're saying use the moment to apologize. That's right. Use it, but not because you're threatened around it and not because you even necessarily own it politically, but because it's just the right thing to do and it makes people feel better. Just do that. Would you feel better, Tammy? I, I, no, because I guess that would be the public face. Who knows what the private face really is, right? I mean, this is her. This oh, is the woman who's bragged about being two-faced. So she can say whatever she wants to say in public. Our problem is we have no idea what she really means. And look, when you are still invited to this dinner, an extraordinarily important Catholic dinner, the, import, the importance of the messaging and the charity itself, when there, when there are no repercussions and when you will be sitting next to the cardinal that very next day. It tells you that, well, you know what, none of this really does matter. And I think that what the American people are starving for is accountability. And every single moment they see there is none for Hillary Clinton. Well, as you can see, uh, there is great laughter in the room. There is a, a terrific spirit, the, the appropriate spirit. As, as I'm watching here, Tony, I'm, I'm thinking of the two candidates. Uh, people may not believe this, but actually Donald Trump has a great capacity for uh, self-deprecating humor. Uh, he, sh he showed it a number of times on the campaign trail. He never revealed that part of his personality, I thought, uh, 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 an adequate number of times. Uh, certainly it can be overdone, but uh, he just has that ability. Uh, and by the way, as I look at Hillary Clinton and the Cardinal there, uh, she seems to be in a good mood. So this, this could be a terrific evening. Well, look, uh, Cardinal Dolan is a terrific statesman. Uh, I might even say he's probably the best politician in America. I mean, he really understands how to navigate 
and balanced diplomatically with people he has differences of opinion. Think about what Hillary Clinton said last night, Lou. She took the pro-choice, pro-abortion position to an extreme that very few politicians in America late do. Late-term abortion. Late-term late abortion up until the moment of conception. That is infanticide in the eyes of most. And that is birth. what we call... Uh, birth, correct. Sorry, Lou. And that's what we call an 80-20 issue. Even pro-choicers, I do a lot of work here in New York, in polling will say they're opposed to this type of, of abortion uh, on demand, and Sitting she's for it. it. Yeah, and exactly. She's for it. Yeah, that, and that comes across as very harsh. I will say this about the tone of the evening. It's, it's really good, and it really was my favorite memory of Mitt Romney in the 2012 campaign. I thought he did himself a lot of favors, and many people, I was one of them, said if he'd been more of that, you know, mm -hmm. things might have turned out differently for Mitt.